Hello everyone I wish you a warm welcome to Usatility. Today we are on the way to discover how to play Final Fantasy Brave Exvius on PC, from now you are able to watch it on your screen. It takes almost no time to efficiently download and set up Final Fantasy Brave Exvius and play this game on our Windows computer with gamer keyboard if we want to, mouse and large monitor. So without further ado, let's go my friends. First of all mates, the first thing to do is to launch our main web browser. We selected the one we use by default. Let's go to this URL I'm highlighting in green color. There you are seeing it on the screen of the PC. There is no need to type it, because there's the clickable link in the description of this video and as well in the first pinned comment. We arrived right here on the website of Usatility, in which we include our in-depth outline on the way to download Final Fantasy Brave Exvius on PC. We browse down a little bit and simply click on the Download Game on PC button. Once we click on the link, we reach the website of Bluestacks. No panic, it is simply the Android emulator that we will launch to enjoy the game Final Fantasy Brave Exvius on our PC. As you can see here we have several pros of preferring that emulator. Then, we will start downloading the Final Fantasy Brave Exvius by clicking on this button play on blue stacks that I have marked in green. We then click on it. And the download takes no time at all. Here it is, here is located the download. It is a file to execute. What we are going to do is to run the installer, ok, then we click on the file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to make modifications to the device. We clicked yes. I reduced the browser to find the installer considerably better. The installer is very simple. It contains two possibilities, install, and setup path. I will clarify what setup path does indeed. We only click on it. And now we observe that we end up with here the path where your emulator can be placed. If we need to modify this folder we must click on the browse button, therefore we opt for another folder and set up the emulator where we desire. To keep it simple, just leave it as it is. I simply click on back. So I simply click on install. Voila! The installation begins and it will progress along with the download of these megabytes which are displayed on the screen. The time you save it on your machine, it is likely to be a bit more or less megabytes. The data transfer speed could go faster or slower, based on your type of connection and according to the velocity of the emulator servers. Now they are working extremely fast. The download is completed, and so at present it proceeds with the setup part. The installation will need a little bit more or less time depending on the power of your PC, the more efficient it's actually, the faster the software installation time and vice versa. If we join the download and install phase it usually takes quite a while, so have patience. It is already finished on my side. At this moment, the emulator has been started instantly. As you can observe, down here, there's a progress bar that will fill up then when it actually reaches the finish, the emulator can be launched for the first time. The truth is the emulator was already started, here it is for the very first time. Before we carry on, as you can observe, it has made two app icons there on the PC desktop. The Blue Stacks and Blue Stacks Multi Instance. Note that the Blue Stacks software icon is definitely the one we are interested in. At any time when we need to launch Final Fantasy Brave Exvius on the PC, we double click this software icon and as a result use the emulator. The Blue Stacks Multi Instance icon is not related to multiplayer or even nearly anything like that, the fact is that, it's an icon that we will probably never ever utilize. Why don't we perform the following step, which is a must have, and which is to entry the Google Play Store. As you can observe the Google Play is launched. At this point we need to log on. At this time as soon as we're here, we must definitely conduct the following step that is mandatory. So we click on, sign in. At this moment it says, checking info. It could from time to time get stopped at, checking info, additionally it doesn't progress. If that's the case, you could attempt to log in after a number of hours and it will surely most certainly be resolved. At this moment we will provide our email and password. The email address has to be a Gmail email address as well as its corresponding password. For example you can use the same exact email you use currently in your YouTube account. Therefore I will enter my information and I will revisit after I have done it. That's all, details typed in. This is Google welcoming us and supplying us their terms of service. We can approve them by clicking on, I agree. Following, it offers us to save to the Google Cloud. You can keep it selected and it'll build a backup of the data on this device to Google Drive. I will not check it, you do what you want. We simply click on accept. Google Play Store is launched automatically and instantly. To set up the video game, we have to visit the Android emulator desktop by clicking this icon indicated green colored. Today that we are watching the desktop of this emulator, we notice that we have now here the install application option. We just click on the button. Right here we get the game app. Why don't we mouse click right here on the install option that I am showing now in green. Therefore it will begin the software installation. At this moment it would install the video game, it could take a while or it may be almost immediate. It again all is determined on our own internet connection. It's as of now finished installing. Back to the emulator desktop by hitting this specific button I'm showing in green, to be able to run Final Fantasy Brave Exvius for the first time. Let me mouse click on that my games option just above. 
We're by now on the emulator desktop, and so we are preparing to click this brand new Final Fantasy Brave Exvius app icon that has been created. This video game is started for the first time. So there we end up with it, I'm able to press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should comment on the volume level of the emulator. This is right here. We have the icon of higher volume and also the icon of lower volume, this manner we will not depend on the windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of your emulator. As well as to enjoy the experience to the maximum, we can activate the large monitor, for which we have two choices. That is the first one, we click on that app icon that I'm identifying in green. Then the screen is maximized, offering one border on top, one at the right and one at the bottom. Assuming that we really want to run the game using all the screen, we select this game icon. And then we would presently be enjoying the Android game in 100% screen mode. To get out of the 100% screen mode, press the F11 key. And we might now be in standard display mode. At this moment I am starting to demonstrate you the keyboard mapping and that is definitely extremely enjoyable. That way we will be able to play the game application a lot more effortlessly. The first point is to mouse click this keyboard icon. And here you will be able to get the necessary controls. I can keep the standard settings, but if you want to change this, you may very well do so without having problem. As you can notice, the emulator is totally in our own language. From time to time it occurs that your emulator is launched in the incorrect language, for instance, in Chinese. And therefore to set it in the proper language we click here to the cogwheel. Then here inside of other controls, we click the language drop down. We can also pick the language we prefer, English, Chinese, etc. As soon as the language is determined, we could save, the emulator will restart, along with the game app, the next time we run it, would as well be in the specified language. At this point, there's another information that we must take into consideration, and this is that we will receive a message from Google Mail telling that a new device has been connected to this Google account. It will definitely question us if we're the ones who have connected that electronic device. Yes, we must not get worried, considering that the emulator is acting as an Android device. In order to discover which smartphone or tablet is being emulated, we come back right here, to the cogwheel and we simply click on it. And so we go here to the, model, choice. And here we realize that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung mobile phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all folks, so much for our tutorial. I sincerely hope you appreciated it, particularly that you thought it was useful. If so, give it a pleasant thumb up, subscribe to our channel, and I will be happy to answer all your comments, concerns or ideas, leave them in the comment field below. You can even comment things on my Twitch channel, I perform live streams every once in a while, you get it down below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Check out any of these video tutorials that happens to be appearing on the computer screen and let's have fun again in the next video tutorials. Bye.